Oh man, you guys aren't even gonna believe this. Maybe you will actually. It's all fresh powder here. Got overnight. I don't know what there is. Three inches probably. So I got my other power clear in the bed of the Chevy. I gotta probably just back up to it here in a minute and slide it on in. up at 450 this morning and we only had about a half an inch so uh, about two and a half inches fell in just a matter of a couple hours but that tends to be the case this year but nonetheless like I said we'll have it done in time so no worries I'm kind of still in disbelief that this is happening so soon again but it's our job we're gonna do it we're gonna get paid for it. <clears throat> City is cleaning up the lot right now as we speak. So they're gonna be they're gonna be thrilled with me. City owns this lot. I don't have to do nothing with the lot. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> right now when I get complaints I like to document all the complaints what happens so this lot here as you can see is owned by the city of Princeton my only responsibility is to clear these sidewalks into the city lot okay so this guy that owns the tattoo shop up here comes up to me and he said you guys come through after the city and blow all the snow onto the parking lot. And I'm like, well, yeah. I'm like, well, guess what? The city's still here, cleaning up. How do you know they ain't gonna clean it up? So, just wanted to show you guys this. Well, it's on him now if they don't clean it up because he just parked in all of it. So, he could have parked where it was clean and moved his truck over later, but anyways. That's, that's the situation. So if I get a call 
by the way, he asked for my card. I told him, heck no, you can contact the mall or the city in regards to the snow being there. I ain't giving you a card. It's a good way to get a bad Google review, just in case you're wondering, and it wouldn't have even been my fault. It's his fault now that the snow's not getting cleaned out of there. I don't work with the city. I don't know when they're gonna show up to do this lot or anything. Sometimes I beat them here by many, many, many hours. And sometimes I show up and they're here. I don't really know. There's no really consistent way of knowing, but I have to let basically the majority of the snow come down here before I clean up this lot. Otherwise, it's really a waste. So hopefully it doesn't say nothing and the city comes back later and cleans it up. Or he can call, I guess. I don't, I don't really care. We're gonna pull up to Napa. Their salt bucket looks really low. Okay. They, they actually use their salt, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna refill their salt bucket quick. What a joke. Anyways, yeah, his totally his problem now. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> well, yeah, April's really crazy, I guess. Oh, Ooh. Thanks, slip. Just busted up. All right, 50 pounds. 50 pounds. <laughs> Wonder how the other ones are doing. grabs everything oh, 100 percent oh man alive my short shoes short boots whatever these things are awesome for driving in got these tall ones on they make it a little bit hard to drive on and off the gas pedal so much you need some shorter shorter boots to help right on so we're gonna run this sucker backwards no i'm gonna go for it up here oh, okay. i don't think it's gonna last for too much longer and if it does it ain't gonna be a whole lot on. yeah it's on new so no. nope that'll be last okay. everything but the mall is gonna be ran in order You're, what are you gonna call him? He called me. So he called oh, him. okay, I see. What you're hey, uh, what's the weather supposed to be like for the rest of the week? Uh, next week is not looking good. It's looking like snow again. All right, just shovel behind and then between. I'm not, don't worry too much. I'll just do a pass by each of the vehicles. Oh, you should be able to get in between. Them. Yeah.
see if I can push on this pile a little bit. Come on, baby, move. Nice. Did you guys get an invite? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it to the movie or not, but maybe we'll go come to Hawks with you. Okay. There we go. I'm moving these piles back. Oh. They must have softened up enough. Oh, that's sweet. I was really worried about that. There we go. Rock and roll, baby. It's going. I mean, it's going a lot better than I thought. I'm pushing piles. I mean, they're still somewhat hard underneath, but the bulk of the snow is going right up and over. Man, I bet you we got a I bet you we got a half a foot up here. This is crazy. Oh, I really wish these cars were not here. Super stoked that these piles are moving. That's incredible. I was, like I said, I told my dad, like I was sick to my stomach about it because I just wasn't sure um, what we we're gonna do with all this snow. It's, it's just ridiculous here. I think about four or five inches actually melted off since that last big snowstorm that you guys watched me plow even just over the course of a week it's been crazy how much snow has melted so that's nice soften these piles up a little bit oh man i asked this question last year but for those of you that plow you like plowing during the day or uh, at night better tell you what I definitely prefer it like super early in the morning myself um, when there aren't many people out and about because you spend so much time just idle down at the end of people's driveways like out in the rural areas you know or the country areas little tip that I have for you guys here so like when you're coming out and doing a driveway like this, if you plow snow, um, when I come out, I wanna set myself up for the direction in which I'm gonna leave. So like my next job is that way. So what I'm gonna do is when I come out here, I'm gonna pull out like the way I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna back up, hit this pile, push it across. And then all I gotta do is, I might have to hit it a couple times but at least then I can back up and then just drive the direction in which I wanna to go to my next job. It's a little uh, thing that I've learned over the few years that I've been plowing. I'm sorry, I left a little bit of a mess up here. It's heavy, isn't it? Five and a half inches. Is that what it is? about six. doesn't look like much right now but I'm very stuck it's glare ice on this driveway ah uh, shoot doesn't look like much but it's because it's glare ice uh, shucks yeah it always happens in this heavy stuff 
will once I break it free in the back. So we're gonna push right here and then hopefully we can get this truck to slide sideways. Did our best to dig out underneath here, get it free. I'm gonna push the plow. I'm gonna turn it like this because we've already gone back and forth a bunch. I'm gonna push so it wants to go this way and hopefully, I, hopefully we can get it out of being stuck. So let's see what happens here. All right, hold on. It's getting cold, ain't it? Yep, that's all right. Yep, go ahead. Try it again, try it right now. Guys, come on, what is going on here? What is going on? I don't know. There's a little bit underneath there yet. But. I, no, that's all right. I think it's, it's gotta go, we're free. I don't know why that plow won't push me out. This is not a good way to exert yourself when you got a long plow run to make.
for the day, guys. Time to go home and go to bed. I hate when stuff like that happens. There's nothing you can do about it. Like, legit, nothing you can do about it, but... That's the second time we've gotten stuck in our driveway. That's the second time this year that we've been stuck in the driveway there. It's just ridiculous. Well, you guys know where we're at. We're at one of my commercials here in the back lot. And uh, if you're familiar with up front, that snow pile was up front. I actually had my buddy Wes, not my son Wes, but my buddy. He came over here, huge shout out to him, and pushed that pile up for us. So that was very nice. And uh, he also, if you notice, cleaned up around the outside edges of the lot here for me because it was just overflowing into the parking lot. So you can actually see that shed over there again. Anyways, thank you, Wes. And uh, we're going to get to plowing here. I'm really tired. That last one beat me up trying to dig this truck out. Hey, what do you think? 300 <laughs> likes on this video and I go sledding down that uh, snow pile? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Wes needs a sled, so. I know, we gotta get him. We're not sending him down. No, just me. A million views will send Wesley. A million views will send Wesley down there. I'm just kidding. Uh, but on a serious note, 300 likes on this video, I will indeed go buy a plastic sled from wherever, well actually I have one, I do have one, I'll go down that hill on, in that sled, 300 likes still. So, so share that, it with your friends. Yeah, so that means, oh, what do we usually get, around a thousand views? So that means only a third of you have to click like, that's all there is to it, and I'll go down there, and I'll get it on film for you so you can watch me do it. I'll see it. Wes wants to see. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> well, Sean, this one's for you. I know how much you like this place. <laughs> this is their place. Sean's? Oh, yeah. He loves the holiday. He loves holiday.
All right. There we go. So that right there is only an eighth of the manual labor that we do at this place. So yeah, pretty shot by the time we get done with that one. Give me five. Good job, bud. I was the next. Lots of shoveling and lots of snow blowing. Glad you guys are still on with me. All right, here we go. Another one that I can't plow all the way anyways. It's a lot of work. A lot of work doing these ones back to back. That's for dang sure. But. Oh man. We're overflowing bad here. Doing good. See that plow truck down there? That's GM Outdoor Services. They also do YouTube. Some of you guys probably watch their content. They got a big pull plow set up on that regular cab. I'm pretty sure that's Caleb again. Would be Garrett's cousin. On this. On this. Yeah, that's them. So glad we got less snow down here than up in Princeton. Princeton has like five and a half, I measured five and a half inches down there, and there's probably only two on this driveway, so that's really nice. Uh, I'm gonna have to get out and show you guys the kind of the unfortunate part of this. You gotta snow blow these little nooks because I can't get in there with the truck. I'm gonna try to push this up. It ain't gonna go.
It's a uh, 621 currently starting to get dark. Staying lighter for longer. And we're off to the next one. Oh, sheesh, I almost backed into those mailboxes. That would not have been good. One more in BL and then off to the off to the town where nothing but furniture world exists. All right, guys, I'm gonna button this one up right here. Gotta get over to the pizza pub to pick up our pizza. We kinda always do that after we're done plowing here. So we're gonna get over there, but first I gotta make my second run at the mall here. So got a lot of snow blowing on our hands. Get done in the next 20 minutes, hopefully. That way the pizza stays nice and warm. And uh, yeah, that's all she's gonna write. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And. Uh, We'll be making some more plowing videos, I'm sure, this season. So, from us here at Blades, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.